used wise we'll probably have anything from 20 to 30 maybe 35 40 at mm -hmm. times it, it depends on which time of the year but always uh, we always have a very good selection looking across the whole group what sort of volume do you have um, New and used combined, it'll be over 600 vehicles now, approaching 700, but used alone, probably about 60% of those will be used. All of the vehicles can be seen uh, by customers off-site on our website, because everyone has got a photograph and a description uh, alongside it. But when they come into here, if they haven't got access to our website, our uh, salespeople can have access it via the website or via our own internal computer system. Up so much at the same time, you know. The first vehicle we looked at was a two-year-old coach built by the Swift Group, which we picked at random, and I was really surprised at its immaculate condition. Vehicles like this hold their value, don't they? They do. Um, I think because they do hold their value, it is good news when you come to sell your vehicle on again as a part exchange. It isn't such good news when you need to make that initial investment in the in the vehicle in the first place. But, you know, I think if you were putting money into uh, a car of £25,000, £30,000, then, um, you know, you'd be losing a lot more money on your car than you would if you were putting it into a motorhome. I hope these pictures give you an idea of how clean and bright this vehicle was. It felt ready to just load up and head south. What a nice idea on a very cold March day. I'd tend to make sure that the vehicle was uh, well presented on the outside and that it was clean and free from uh, rust spots or dent scratches and things like that. Um, make sure that um, the, the vehicle hadn't done too many miles and you know, there was no sign of wear and tear uh, of doing excessive miles. Um, make sure it's nice and clean on the inside and it smells fresh. I don't think you need to worry too much if you're buying from a dealer about mechanical things and, and damp because most reputable dealers will make sure that that's all right for you and they'll give you a warranty. It's, it, it is a strange thing really when you think that you know a lot of uh, motorhome manufacturers are caravan manufacturers as well yeah. and my, my days uh, I was previously in caravans and I know that some of the people who make uh, caravans and had damp problems with them also make motorhomes that they don't have damp problems with and uh, I can only put it down to the fact that because the motorhome is on four wheels and therefore it doesn't quite flex as much as perhaps a caravan will do. If you imagine your caravan with a wheel in the middle and it's being towed and it's kind of flexing all over the place, I can only put it down to the fact that, that maybe that causes the damp problems on caravans that we don't experience so much on motorhomes. Next, let's look at a panel van conversion. This is the Auto Sleepers Duetto. It's a forward facing seat normally. Um, but it, if you just down there like so, That's it. and then just a little bit further, you just move that seat forward. Another cushion goes in there, and then you've got a very nice and simple single there. This Duetto, they've been making these for an awful long time. They still sell them brand new now, so it's a it's a long established um, firm favourite, I would say. And there's tons of stuff in here, isn't there? It's very, very well appointed, yeah. I mean, you've got all the things in here that you would expect mm -hmm. in, a, in a luxury coach belt. It's just in a more compact vehicle. Open and close a few doors. Tell us what you can Well, in here, you have um, a small but perfectly formed bathroom that has a cassette toilet. It has a shower um, with hot water um, and cold water running. So you can just pull it out like so. Take the bat out, it's got the shower tray. It even has storage in there for the um, the awning handle, and then it has um, like your uh, privacy room that you oh. can close down there and lock away there. Oh, Got see. the Cascade uh, Rapid hot water system here. Again, that runs off gas, so you can heat all your hot water up from there. Um, you've got your control panel there, which tells you your water levels and your battery condition, etc., etc., and also has a switch on for the water pump. And then here you have your sink, again with hot and cold running water. Underneath that you have a, a, a fridge, which was a three-way fridge uh, most caravanners and motorhomers will be uh, uh, familiar with. Runs off gas, electric and 12 volt. And then over here you've got various uh, cutlery drawers and other cupboards. And then you've got a full oven and grill. And then underneath there you've got your two burner hob. So basically you've got everything that you need. 
think a lot of people still think that, that you know these things are very basic with just a, a small bed in but they you know once you've made it uh, your double bed up it's it's quite a comfortable bed. M many people use these as their only vehicle, mm. so they use it as a dual purpose vehicle. They use it, you know, for weekends away and for, you know, for touring Europe even if they want to. Mm.